Have you ever asked yourself if you can sing? Or maybe you want to learn how to sing, but you're not sure if this is something you could ever learn. You know, I understand that singing can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. It's a lot of different components that have to work together for you to make the desired sound, like the sound that you want to, and sound pretty, and do all these crazy runs and riffs, and sing high notes, and low notes, and all that good stuff, right? So, you know, have you ever asked yourself, will you ever be able to do that? Or can you even sing? There's only one thing that you have to be able to do to sing. And what is that thing? Well, let me show you what that is right now. The one thing and the only thing, I promise you, this is the only thing you have to be able to do to learn how to sing. And that is matching pitch. Matching pitch basically means you hear a note and then you sing that note with your voice. Maybe you've heard people tell you, oh, I can't sing, I'm tone deaf, right? That will basically mean they can hear a note, but they cannot replicate that note. And um, most of the time, this person that who's telling you that they cannot match pitch is actually lying. I don't think they mean to lie. <laughs> uh, it's not on purpose. But, you know, there's only a very, very, very small percentage of people who actually are tone deaf. And there's nothing really they can do to practice learning how to match pitch. Most people, when they tell you they're tone deaf or not actually tone deaf, they just haven't practiced matching pitch. So how do you know if you're actually tone deaf or not, if this is something you can learn? Well, the easiest thing that you can do to figure out if you're tone deaf or not is record yourself while singing along to a song on the radio or Spotify or whatever it is. Not a karaoke track, but like actually singing along to a recording uh, where the singer is singing as well, right? So record yourself and sing along and then listen back. If you listen back and you're like, oh, this is perfect, this is super on pitch, and it sounds great, uh, note-wise, the notes you're singing, and um, the person next to you tells you that this is not, it's not on pitch, then that probably means you, you are struggling with your ears, right? The ears cannot make the connection to your brain. And um, I would obviously go to a specialist and ask, are you really tone deaf or not? But that would be a good indicator that you are. But if you uh, record yourself and you sing along to the radio, and you listen back to that recording and you're like, oh, this is not quite right, and I now can hear that it's not right, then you are not tone deaf. Sometimes it is hard to tell if we're singing the right notes while we're singing it, but if you can hear it on a recording of you, then that is okay, that means you can practice singing on pitch. But if you can't hear it on a recording that you're off pitch, it's gonna be really, really difficult. Okay, so there is definitely lots of hope for you if you can hear that you're off pitch on a recording. And I can tell you why that is the case, like why sometimes we can hear it on a recording but not while we're singing. When you are speaking or when you are singing, you hear yourself from the outside through your ears but also from the inside because there's a lot of vibrations happening and you have little bones and cartilage and all that good stuff inside of your ears that's vibrating while you are speaking. So that's why when you hear recording of yourself, you're like, ew, that, this sounds nothing like me. This is not me, but it actually is you, <laughs> right? And that is because when you're listening to a recording, you only hear yourself from the outside, not the inside as well, right? Does that make sense? So always record yourself and listen back to see are you on pitch or not. And the way you hear yourself on a recording while you're listening back is how everyone else around you hears you while you're speaking. Okay, so I know it's a little bit weird, but that's kind of how it works. <laughs> so actually with me, I was struggling a little bit too, singing on pitch when I first started out, especially the higher belt notes, because I was being so loud that I kind of overpowered my ears and I couldn't hear that I was flat on a lot of these notes. And um, once people pointed that out to me and I started recording myself, I was like, oh my gosh, 
you are right. I really am flat on those higher notes and I couldn't hear that while I was singing. So what I did is I recorded myself when I was practicing and I listened back immediately and that way I could finally, you know, learn how to just sing a little bit higher so I'm not flat and I'm actually singing the notes perfectly and I'm not off pitch. How can you practice singing on pitch? Whether you can hear it right away without having to record or you have to record yourself, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can practice this and here's how you can do it. There's a, well, there's a couple different ways, but here's two ways I recommend you do it. First one is to sing along to the radio and record yourself. And you know, don't sing like a whole song and then listen back. Just sing like 30 seconds, just like a section of a song, right? Just the verse or just the chorus and immediately listen, immediately listen back. <laughs> there you go. And um, see, are you on pitch or off pitch? And that's all you really have to do. You don't really have to do anything else besides that. And really just repeat, 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 repeat until you get it right. That's the first thing you can do. And I, again, I recommend that you sing along with the actual singer of the song, whether it's a cover or the original, it doesn't matter, but make sure it's not a karaoke track. Okay, because sometimes it's a little bit harder to hear it on a, on a karaoke track. So first step is with the singer, okay? We, you can move on to the karaoke track at some uh, like later point, but not in the beginning. Another thing you can do is literally just play a note on guitar or piano and try to match it. And that will be, and that will sound something like this, okay? Ah, ah, right, I'm singing that note, exactly that note, and not ah, that's not the same note, right? Can you hear that? Ah, that's exactly the same note. Okay, so record yourself while you do that. And you know what? Let's just do a couple together, all right? All right, let's try this note. Where is this note? Try to sing it. Uh, that's the note, right? It's really important that you take your time. You hear the note, okay? Uh, and then you sing it, right? Not just uh, immediately go, because then you didn't give yourself enough time to really listen and basically digest what you just heard and try to get your voice to do the same thing. So a lot of times it's not the ear that's actually the problem, like it would be with tone deaf people, but it is the muscles in your throat. They cannot replicate that note because they, they've never done it before and they don't know how to do it. Right? And that's how you practice and get your muscles to replicate that exact note. Let's try a couple other ones. Listen and then try to sing it. All right, really good. One more. A lot of times what I hear too is some people have no problems at all matching pitch in their chest voice. Ah, oh, oh, your chest voice is your speaking voice, okay? Um, but they really struggle doing it in their head voice up here or vice versa, right? So they can do it in one register but not in the other. And that just means it's all about practice, right? They practice it in one register but not the other. And that is totally fine too. It's all about practice, right? So let's try a couple ones in your head voice. Listen and try to sing it. It's a little bit higher now. Okay, can we go higher? One more. Right, so that is called matching pitch. It might take a little bit of time, but if you can hear that you're not singing the right note, then you can learn how to sing. Now, if you can already match pitch, and this is easy for you, and it's always perfect every single time you do it, then you can already sing.
You can already sing. Yes, that is the basic, that is the foundation of singing. If you can do this, you can sing. Yeah, I'm, you might not sound like you want to just yet, but with a little bit of training and practice, you will eventually get to your goals and be the singer of your dreams, basically. But you can already sing. If you can do this, if you can match pitch, you can sing along to the radio and you're singing the right notes, even if it doesn't sound beautiful the way you imagine it in your head, you can already sing, okay? I hope that makes sense. So if you're struggling with this, just sit on your piano or if you don't have a piano, you don't have a guitar, there's this app uh, for your phone called Tiny Piano. Okay, just download that app, press a couple keys on the app and try to match those notes. And again, take your time, okay? And then you can get a little bit more fancy. You can play intervals. So you can play two notes. Right, you're playing two notes and you're singing both notes and then your voice tries to figure out what it has to do to sing two notes right after each other, right? It's all about training your muscles what to do and what it feels like to replicate a specific note or a specific interval. Interval is just distance between two notes, right? La la. Right? So give this a try. And literally, I promise you, this is the only thing you have to be able to do, matching pitch, for you to be able to sing. If you can already do this, you can already sing, and you can move on to you know, act actually training your voice to make it sound more beautiful, whatever that means, right? More to your liking. Train your chest voice and your head voice and your mixed voice and become more comfortable and learn how to sing runs and riffs. But if you cannot match pitch yet, this is the only thing you should be focusing on. Because if you cannot match pitch, then you can have the most beautiful voice it's not gonna matter. Nobody's gonna want to listen to you because maybe you've already, uh, you, you know, you've already experienced that where you were listening to someone on stage singing and they couldn't sing the right notes. And it is kind of like that cringe-worthy moment, right? Where you're like, oh, this is really bad. And maybe they have a beautiful voice, but if they cannot match pitch, it doesn't matter, right? So this should be your number one focus to practice singing, just singing the right notes. And once you're comfortable with this, it might take a week, it might take a month, it might take a year. It just really depends, everyone is different, okay? But once you can do this, you can move on to actual vocal training. But first, the ear connection has to be right, right? The connection from your ear to your brain to your throat. Your throat has to be able to replicate the notes that you're hearing, okay? Good, so if you can match pitch, you can already sing, congratulations. If you liked this video and it was helpful to you, then give this a big thumbs up and subscribe for future videos just like this, as well as some cool training videos where we actually get to sing and not just talk about singing. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to check out the description box below this video for some amazing free resources for you where you can actually train your voice as well. All right, that's it for me for today and I'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.